Good morning. This mass is offered for the deceased sisters of the Immaculate Heart of Mary. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins so to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and my words in what I have done, what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary of Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, whom taught by the Holy Spirit we dare to call our Father, bring, we pray, to, perf to perfection in our hearts the spirit of adoption as your sons and daughters, that we may merit to enter into the inheritance which you have promised. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. The Lord cried loud for me to hear, Come, you scourges of the city. With that I saw six men coming from the direction of the upper gate which faces the north, each with a destroying weapon in his hand. In the midst was a man dressed in linen with a rider's case at his waist. They entered and stood beside the bronze altar. Then he called to the man dressed in linen with the rider's case at his waist, saying to him, pass through the city, through Jerusalem, and mark a thou on the foreheads of those who moan and groan over all the abominations that are practiced within it. To the others, I heard the Lord say, pass through the city after him and strike. Do not look on them with pity, nor show any mercy. Old men, youths and maidens, women and children, wipe them out, but do not touch any marked with the thou, begin at my sanctuary. So they began with the men, the elders, who were in front of the temple. Defile the temple, he said to them, and fill the courts with the slain, then go out and strike in the city. Then the glory of the Lord left the threshold of the temple and rested upon the cherubim. These lifted their wings, and I saw them rise from the earth, the wheels rising along with them. 
they stood at the entrance of the eastern gate of the Lord's house, and the glory of the God of Israel was up above them. Then the cherubim lifted their wings, and the wheels went along with them, while up above them was the glory of the God of Israel. The word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm. The glory of the Lord is higher than the skies. The glory of the Lord is higher than the skies. Praise, you servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord, both now and forever. The glory of the Lord is higher than the skies. From the rising to the setting of the sun is the name of the Lord to be praised. High above all nations is the Lord, above the heavens is his glory. The glory of the Lord is higher than the skies. Who is like, uh, who is like the Lord our God? Who is enthroned on high and looks upon the heavens and the earth below? The glory of the Lord is higher than the skies. Alleluia, alleluia. God was reconciling the world to himself in Christ and entrusting to us the message of reconciliation. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, If your brother sins against you, go and tell him his fault between you and him alone. If he listens to you, you have won over your brother. If he does not listen, take one or two others along with you, so that every fact may be established on the testimony of two or three witnesses. If he refuses to listen to them, tell the church. If he refuses to listen even to the church, then treat him as you would a Gentile or a tax collector. Amen. I say to you, whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatever you lose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Again, amen. I say to you, if two, if two of you agree on earth about anything for which they are to pray, it shall be granted to them by my heavenly Father. For where two or three are gathered together in my name, there am I in the midst of them. The Gospel of the Lord. According to the Jewish tradition in the time of Jesus, the Jewish rabbis believed that when two pious Jewish people sit together to discuss the words of Jewish law, a divine presence is there. In today's gospel reading, Jesus makes a similar but uh, a later but a different claim. Jesus says to us, whenever two or three are gathered in my name, I will be there in their midst. So Jesus is giving us an assurance of his presence when we are gathering in his name to pray, to worship, 
and to praise him. In Matthew's Gospel, Jesus is Emmanuel, God with us. The Gospel of Matthew presents Jesus as a God who is always with us, Emmanuel. So whenever we are coming to church or whenever we are gathering together to pray, we are already in the presence of the divine. We are already entered into the presence of divine. Only thing we need, we we should we should need we, we should do is to be aware of that presence. And being aware of that presence, being attentive to the to his presence, we should praise him, worship him, and offer him our petitions. That is why we are we are told attentiveness and awareness are at the heart of our prayer. If you are not attentive to the presence of the divine, the presence of Jesus among us, the Emmanuel among us, our prayer is a waste of time. The first thing we have to do in our prayer, be, be aware about the divine presence among us. The presence of divine who is always there to comfort us, to console us, to support us. And from that awareness, we make our prayer, we praise him, worship him, and do our prayer. And another responsibility we are given by the prayer is, we need to reveal that divine presence to others. So when we are rising from our prayer, we need to reveal to others the presence of divine by our words and actions. Others should feel that, feel that divine presence coming through us towards them. That is when our prayer, our spiritual life is getting its fulfillment. So let us ask God to help us to be attentive to his presence among us. And help us and ask him to help us to gather around his words so that we can be strengthened in our faith and we can be strengthened in our relationship with him and with others. Amen. Let us stand. Conscious of our sinfulness and our need of God's mercy, we turn to him with open hearts. Let us pray that the church may be a sign of that peace and reconciliation which Christ won for all peoples. We pray to the Lord. Let us pray that more and more people may discover the love and compassion of God in the sacrament of reconciliation. We pray to the Lord. Let us pray for the true sorrow for our sins and the hope of God's forgiveness. We pray to the Lord. Let us pray that we may always reach out promptly to those separated from us by anger and discord. We pray to the Lord. Let us pray for an end to all wars so that nations may live together in the peace of Christ. We pray to the Lord. We pray for those religious communities whose vocation is to intercede for us and the whole church. We pray to the Lord. Let us pause for a moment, offering our hearts, needs, and petitions to our loving Father.
we pray to the Lord. Lord Jesus Christ, our divine physician, we ask you to guard and protect us from coronavirus, COVID-19, and all serious illness. For all that have died from it, have mercy. For those that are ill now, bring healing. For those searching for a remedy, enlighten them. For medical caregivers helping the sick, strengthen and shield them. For those working to contain the spread, grant them success. For those afraid, grant peace. May your precious blood be our defense and salvation. By your grace, may you turn the evil of disease into moments of consolation and hope. May we always fear the contagion of sin more than any illness. We abandon ourselves to your infinite mercy through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. For the mystery of the sin, water and wine, we come to share the divinity of Jesus Christ, humbled himself to share humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the wine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we accept your sacrifice in this day, be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, Lord, my iniquities and cleanse me my sins. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be accepted to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice in your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of soul is holy church. Be pleased, O Lord, to accept the offerings of your church. For in your mercy you have given them to be offered, and by your power you transform them into the mystery of our salvation, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your heart. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so the angels and all the saints we declare your glory as with the one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord the fount of all holiness. 
Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim the death of our Lord and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Philippe Estevez, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servants, the deceased states of IHM, whom you have called this word to yourself. Grant that they who were united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who are pleased to you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced in eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, 
Jesus Christ, for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who set it apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer it to the sign of peace. May this mingling of the body may Jesus Christ may make our lives to us who receive it. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to a supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that under my roof. Release her the word, my soul shall be healed. Act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. May the communion in your sacrament that we have consumed save us, O Lord, and confirm us in the light of your truth through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying God by your life. Have a blessed day. Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle.